and welcome to the Ascension Parish Library Crafting Corner. I am your host, Kristen, and today I'm going to show you how to enhance your cotton canvas drawstring bags. Now don't fret, I know you may not have them yet, but on our calendar program you're going to see a date when you can come pick them up. They're going to look a little like this once you get them out the bag, but when you pick them up they're going to be in this little kit. This is the bag, and then you're going to have a crafting instruction sheet that's going to show different tips on there with links associated with them that gives you further detail on how to do whatever the tip is. All right, and just to show you an overview of the bags I designed, here's one of them. Here's another. And here's the last one. All right, now let's get into further detail about what I did here. Okay, on to the first tip. So our first tip is going to be tie-dyeing. However, if you'd rather your bag to stay this beautiful beige color, just keep it as is and just design it this way. However, if you do want to change it to a completely different color, you can do that by buying some fabric dye. I got this from regular Amazon um, or even your Walmart or crafting stores. It comes with lovely instructions and you just follow the instructions on how to do it. There's like 20 or 30 different designs in there. Um, however, let me show you the designs I chose. This is what I did with the fabric dye on this pretty one and this pretty one. All right, and all I did was follow those instructions. However, if you don't want to buy a fabric dye, you don't have to. There is another option. I was able to make this just with supplies at home. All I had to do was use some Sharpies that you could probably find from any office supply store or from around your house or ask your parents, um, and also some rubbing alcohol. Make sure you get a rubbing alcohol with a percentage higher than 70%. Um, ideally, 90% is great, but basically just higher than 70. All right, and all I had to do was I put little dots all over my bag like this. And once I did that, then I used my rubbing alcohol and I just spray it all over. Now, once it starts to dry, it actually will spread throughout the whole entire bag. So that's why you really want that high percentage because the higher the percentage, the more this is going to spread. So I also suggest you put a lot, a lot of marks all over just because that's the more is going to look like actual tie dye and cover the bag. All right, so that's the first tip. Um, your second tip is simple embroidering. So you can see I did that on here where I made my initial for K, K for Kristen. And also I did it on here where I decided to put a phrase instead where it says adventure awaits. And I designed and put a little design on the bag also. Now to do that, all I had to buy was some embroidered floss that looks a little like this. It comes in a lot of different colors, like a lot of different colors. And then also I had to get embroider needles. So this is two different sizes here. Um, you just need one and just find the size that works best to actually be able to fit the string through it. Okay. Um, and also, if you wanna know step-by-step -step tips on how to actually embroider something, on that craft sheet and our craft packet, you'll see a link. Go to that link. Um, that's right attached to the embroidery. Go to that link and you'll see step-by-step -step instructions on just how to do this. Okay, um, for our third tip is going to be using stencils. So let me get my stencils out. You'll see some here, some letters, some bigger letters, even bigger letters, and also maybe even some designs. All right, and then for the stencils, you just need some paint. This is just regular crafting paint from Walmart. Um, it's also sold at other stores. And then also you just need some sort of brush. So this is one of my bags I decided to use a stencil on. And you can see my little stencil right here. So it 
works really, really well. And you can have some really, really cool designs where you don't have to freehand if you don't want to. All right, so that's my third tip. And also, you can even find some gemstones or some pearls. That's, these are pearls, and you can stick them on your bag. Um, you can even have some really cool stickers, and you can stick them on your bag. All right, so for the fourth tip, we're going to be talking about painting. So with painting, the only thing I really, really suggest is that you try and use acrylic painting, um, acrylic paint. So this, once again, is just a crafting paint, but you can have a nicer acrylic paint if you want to. Um, but try not to use basically your oil. <laughs> try and actually use acrylic. It dries really fast, and it'll be really good on these bags. And then also make sure you just have your brushes. Here's some of mine. Just to be able to actually paint on your bags. And remember, this is like a cotton canvas texture bag. So it will be able to take the paint really, really nicely. All right. And now for our very last tip is actually called heat pressing. So what you do is you go on the internet, you find whatever design that you want, and you break, get your bag, you cut out your design, and you put it face down, image down, on your bag. And then you buy something called heat transfer paper, and you put that heat transfer paper onto your bag on top of it, like on top of the design, um, and then you get an iron, and you're going to iron on the you're going to iron on that design for two to three minutes, going back and forth and back and forth until it's all on there real nicely. And then when you take that transfer paper off, your design is going to be on your bag. It's very, very cool and it's going to last for a very long time. And just the very last thing I would definitely suggest is also these are fabric markers that you can always just also buy. It will resemble paint or also like a real marker, but it will stay on your bag when you use them because it's made for fabric. All right, guys, now those are my couple of tips that I would use. And remember, if you want further instructions on how to do any of these, look at your craft packet that I gave y'all because there's going to be an actual link that you'll be able to actually follow and go to that link and you'll see step-by-step -step instructions on how to do some of these tips. All right, we would love to see your creations, so make sure you take pictures of them and tag us on social media. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining us at the Ascension Parish Library Crafting Corner. Have a good day.